It's 6.30 in the morning, and yeah, we've already got a good amount of people here at the airport. A lot of people travel over this entire week here. here. Listen to this number, 115.6 million. That's how many Americans were projected to travel basically from last Saturday through the New Year's, through this entire season. I want to highlight a few numbers here. First off, AAA says that the amount of Americans, that number I just said, 115.6, that's a jump of 4.3 million people compared to last year. At the airports, 6.97 million people in the U.S. Uh, were, were expected to travel. That's the most since 2003. Meanwhile, drivers, listen to this number, 104.8 million. That's the ma vast majority of people, obviously. And the worst travel day is expected to be today. Much of the data comes from Inrix, a traffic analytics company. Big picture, you don't want to be driving from 4 to 6 this evening. That's when delays across the region will be, listen to this, three times the norm. And let's talk about the big trouble areas. First, there's the Beltway between I-66 and I-270. That area is always a mess, but during this time frame, we're looking at four times the norm. Same deal with I-95 southbound. Four times as slow tonight. Meanwhile, let's talk about the Bay Bridge. We all know it's going through a resurfacing project. And Enrix is saying that it's actually tomorrow when we're going to see the worst of it. Eastbound traffic will be twice as slow at 4 o'clock. All right, so the big takeaway from all of this, just try to avoid the roads if you can, especially this evening when it's expected to be the absolute worst. If you need to drive, that's probably most of you because you got to work at some point, maybe tomorrow. Uh, just add a little extra time and maybe queue up an extra podcast because it's, it's going to take some time. Meanwhile, here at the airport, one last look. Yeah, busy, but flights are doing okay. Guys, send it back to you.